Hi, my loves. It's Granny K here with another story. This one's called Grant Frankenstein. That's a takeoff on Frankenstein, and we all know the monster Frankenstein. This is Frankenstein. It's written by Samantha Berger and illustrated by Dan Santat. What do you What do you think it's about? Does he look happy? I don't think so. <laughs> I like the title though. It's kind of fun. Have you seen Frankenstein? Oh. Oh. You would totally know if you had. Hmm. Is there something in that bed? Looks like there might be. I'm just going to move the computer over here and see if that light's better. That might be better. You would say, good morning. How are you? And Frankenstein would say, <laughs> Is that what you say in the morning when you wake up? Or do you say, good morning, it's a brand new day. You would say, who wants pancakes? <gasps> With syrup. Oh, I do. And Frankenstein would say, <laughs> You would say, time for school. And Frank Frankenstein would say, <laughs> Is this Frankenstein happy about anything? You might see Frankenstein when it's super rainy outside. Oh, he's looking at himself in a puddle, but he's not saying that word or that sound. Or when it's extra cold on Halloween. Oh, dressed up like a robot. <laughs> or when it's way too hot for popsicles. Arr! Especially when it's way too hot for popsicles. You can sh be sure to find Frankenstein in a long, long line. Oh, a sign says 40 minutes wait from this point. Yeah, that might make me a bit of a Frankenstein. You must be this tall to ride this to <laughs> to ride this ride. Frankenstein hates long, long lines. Okay, I can be a Frankenstein sometimes too. Can you be a Frankenstein sometimes? Or when it's time to take gross cough syrup. Frankenstein hates gross cough syrup. Who doesn't? And you'll definitely see Frankenstein when you say it's bedtime. Frankenstein hates when you say it's bedtime. Hmm. I think I know a few Frankensteins out there. Yes, that Frankenstein is pretty scary business, all right. But just when you think that monster is here to stay, is it really a monster or is he just a little boy? He might do something that surprises you because when Frankenstein meets another Frankenstein, What's he doing? He's saying, meh. <laughs> it might just make him, hmm, what? It might just make him what? It might just make him laugh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> he sees somebody being silly like him and that makes him laugh. Well, at least for now. Because that Frankenstein, oh, bonk, he got hit on that with a ball. Oh, he'll be back. But definitely not today. Oh, today there's a rainbow in the sky. The sun is out. People are playing. He's got a friend. No, there's nothing to be Frankenstein about today. 
How's your day going? Are you Crankenstein or are you Funstein? That's very cute. It's a story about when cranky kids have monstrous days. Well, we all have monstrous days. Even grandma can be a Crankenstein sometimes when she hasn't had enough sleep or she's hungry. Anyway, we all are. Hope you enjoyed the story. Love you lots. Till next time.